mean seriously just imagine that you're on a boat ride and you're just like i'm on a boat i'm on a boat oh no oh no oh no oh no Alright, so we've checked into our hotel, we've parked our car, our 24 hours at Niagara Falls starts now! now. So our agenda for the next 24 hours is going to be spending time on the Canadian side today. We are going to go do Journey Behind the Falls which I think Brian is gonna find extremely fascinating. I'm excited to show him. We've already checked into our hotel, so that's pretty awesome. That checks something off. We do need to find food, but we do have an eight o'clock dinner reservation at a steakhouse. <laughs> Maybe head to a brewery after that, see Clifton Hill. Um, the next morning, tomorrow, we are going to cross the Rainbow Bridge and go to the American side and then compare and contrast. And I think we're gonna do a compare and contrast video of the American side versus the Canadian side and see what everybody prefers. So it's gonna be a fun 24 hours. So the American Falls, are 188 feet tall but there's about 70 feet of rock at the bottom of it not something you'd want to go down in a barrel on these ones no i i don't think you're gonna win no i think it would hurt you might i mean you'd probably survive it though just break a bone because that's not really a high 70 feet's like seven stories though i don't know uh, i don't know if anyone's ever gone over the american falls either way um, next to the American Falls are the Bridal Veil Falls because it looks like a bridal veil, like what I wore on my wedding day. So that makes sense. All right, one thing that's annoying is that like everything is closed. You can't go to the bathroom, you can't get a donut, you can't get a coffee, you can't eat. So we're That's starving. Kind of a bummer. I know it's off season for sure, but like at least a bathroom. You guys see the rainbow? Cool. All right, I think we finally found somewhere that's open for food at hopefully. the Welcome Center, hopefully. All right, I finally found some food and we ordered it. 54 Canadian dollars later. But anyway, in order to sit down in like this small food court, we did have to show our QR code and proof of ID, so. I got turkey and cranberry. Happy Thanksgiving. Biggest peanut butter cup I've ever seen. Oh my god. Brian said he didn't like that, but I didn't say I didn't like it. I, I think wouldn't... that's a lie. So we are going to be heading down through the rock 125 feet. It's about 11 and a half stories. Very simple. When we get down to the bottom, just follow the path. This is normally lined up like 500 people deep too. Uh, Journey behind the falls. We're behind the falls. Literally so loud. Falls averages 680 
1,000 gallons of water per second. That's impressive. The Niagara Falls has the potential to generate 4.9 million kilowatts. It didn't say in a year, but I'm gonna assume that's a year, which is enough power to provide energy to 3.8 million homes. That's pretty cool. It's a makeout yeah. spot. Yeah. Ooh. Come here. No, I'm just kidding. Mwah. Okay, we took a nap. Now we're ready for dinner. And I'm extra hungry because I watched the Food Network. Hi. Hi. I'm wearing a different shirt, Rick. Niagara <laughs> Brewing Company. So right now we're in Clifton Hill. You can literally do anything here, like ride a Ferris wheel, go in a fun house, or go bowling. I was so scared of this when I was a kid. <laughs> going on a Ferris wheel. It's Woo. pretty cool. Woo! All right, Ferris wheel. Eh. Eh. Gosh, yes, you. Hello, you. I'm looking at you. Come and fly. It's Iron Man. Immerse yourself in movie history. As you walk the red carpet. Hall. All right, so like we said, we made a reservation at Prime Steakhouse tonight, and we decided to treat ourselves a little bit. 10th floor, which means we'll get a view. We were seated at this beautiful big booth. I can't really tell because of the glare, but beautiful view of the falls at night. I plan on getting a Caesar salad, a steak, and we are splitting some sides. What are you gonna get? I'm gonna get the um, Angus ribeye, and um, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna get a starter. So my steak's a little bit bigger than yours. I'm tray full. I don't no, think no, we're no. doing dessert. Like I want to do dessert because it looks really cool. I don't think we can do it, man. I really don't. We just ordered dessert. <laughs> that maybe this may be. We may regret this. We might die. Eat Alaska. Let the record state: she's a dessert hog, not me. The restaurant just gave us some ice wine and ice wine got put on the map um, because of Canada. At one point, Germany was the ice wine king. And then in the 1970s, uh, Canada came up with a revolutionary way of processing the grapes, which dethroned the Germans once again. <laughs> Ooh, 
You're gonna like this a lot, Lauren. Great. He also said something about um, the only way that you can crush the grapes is when it's 15 degrees outside or something like that. Minus 15. Minus 15 degrees. Which and then is that's Celsius. when ice wine is made versus in Germany they can't do that. So that's why it is king here in Canada. So cheers. Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah, we're dessert crushers. Undefeated champions of dessert. This program is brought to you by Catelli's <sighs> Same white pasta, but smarter. A lot of people want to know about my family. We have a magical house. That was such a phenomenal meal. Like, such a good steak, amazing drinks. The ice wine he gave us to try was spectacular. I can't wait to try it again tomorrow at the winery we're going to. Um, yeah, our server was great, knowledgeable, such a nice guy. So definitely recommend Prime Steakhouse for sure. The first half of our trip is over. We have a jacuzzi tub and I'm gonna go lay in that for like an hour and then we're gonna go to bed because we're gonna be up. Brian. Yeah. Get out of my shot with your naked body. Because so we are going to wake up super early for sunrise tomorrow and walk the Rainbow Bridge over to the American side to see what that is all about. So we will see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Okay, so apparently you need a dollar across the border, which I knew, but I didn't know it would be a turnstile. So. Five dollars worth of quarters, guys. One, two, three, four. Go. To USA. Beautiful. Fall colors. So also I really don't have a recollection but I know I did this when I was a kid because there's a really funny dorky photo of me. The dorkiest. Putting one foot in USA and one foot in Canada. Did do that before. Insert photo here. Get a good laugh y'all. <laughs> Get a good laugh. Yeah, you will. About to cross the border. International boundary line. Okay, how many ways can we get into the USA? Enough nonsense. We're going to the border now. That was a fun 10 minutes of hopping back and forth. Look at how pretty the colors are. It's fall. Officially in America. Yeah, it took a little longer than I thought, but. Niagara Falls State Park. So, this is the bridge we just took. This is where the American Falls are, so I definitely want to see from this point, but then I want to cross over here and do all of this this stuff too so that's our plan that's pretty sweet all right <laughs> i hope they attack you <laughs> <laughs> ah the pivot crows american falls and the bridal veil falls has over seventy thousand. oh my god what? <laughs> Yeah, 
Please do not feed the wildlife because they were attacking my husband. Brian likes to think that if he fell over the falls, he would make it just because he is the barrel <laughs> and he's pretty buoyant. Yeah, and uh, natural cushion. <laughs> okay, heading back to Canada. Go ahead, Brian. Oh, good job. Going back to Canada. No drama this time. If anyone wants to know what room we stayed in, it's that one that's open right there. All right, going to do our paperwork. See you on the other side. We made it. Okay, this time she did ask to see the QR code. And she did ask to see our PCR tests. So they did that at this border, but they did not do it when we drove across the border yesterday. So just so everyone knows. Okay, so to finish off our 24 hours in Niagara Falls, we are going to a local winery and we are going to do a whole separate video on that soon. Mm -hmm.